Thank you. We don't get that on the worm catchers because we don't record it. Okay, the um, some new stretches this morning, guys. Worm catchers did after a, a request. It was really up there raising the bar. We're going to cover some of those tomorrow in uh, the one and only. So if you've got hip flexors, you want the deep thing in the thighs, the pelvic floor, open those hips up. We've got some new stuff we're going to be doing tomorrow. We want it does tie you out a little bit. All right. Two minutes for do it. I'm going to meet you down, take you into the vets. It's bank holiday. My machine guns are loaded and the rocket launchers on the roof are pointing at the A38 and the busy old automatic taking out caravans as we can present to guys right now. I'm going to meet you all down. Good. We love holidaymakers, especially when they're at home. Okay, good. Here we go, guys. Let's get a breath in. Then you get the asymmetrics. Let's start working. We're going to work the bones of our body, bone density, really important. And we know no matter what your workout regime is, there's two classes you should be doing. A Pilates type, whatever that is, and an isometric. So here we go. Take the hands up and out. Let's just have some me time. Turn the palms towards me, but hold that position there. Nice, relaxed breathing. Lock the knees out, then bring them just off lock. 30% core, pelvic floor and abs. Turn the hands up, breathe in. I know I don't go through those as often as I used to, the 30%. Exhale down to the heart, guys. Thumb nicely above the heart. But if anybody wants me to, remember, just text it. So can you go through the 30% operation again? And we can do. Squish those hands outwards. Reaching for the walls now. 15 out of 15 on their uncomfortable score. 10 out of 10 is like not our maximum. We can go to 15 out of 10. Rotate those hands over. Open the hands out. I've got two big fruit balls in the palm of the hands. And try and rotate those hands further to the rear. Take the thumbs to the rotation. That is isometrics already, guys. Open those fingers up. It's working the grip. It's strengthening transmission energy into our skeletal system. Here comes the breath. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Elbows high or to there. Three second push in. Go. Two, three. Hook in the hands over. Three seconds pull apart. Go. Two, three. Arc those hands down, guys. Let's give the hands a good shake. I'm trying to get a whiplash on the end of those wrists. Not like I'm being lost. We're doing nice and slowly. A bit quicker, a bit quicker. Get the fingers flexing, get them going. They just do a bit of work and open up, haven't they? Okay, hold the thumb, rotate the shoulders forwards, and rotate them to the rear. Good, liking that one. Bring the hands up and out, palms towards me, and gently keep the feet flat, no tilting the foot left or right, and gently let's rotate round left. And right, get the draft of the air going over the arms. Oh, last week it was cold, wasn't it? We had a bit of rain today, cloudy. Hopefully a bit of sun tomorrow. Okay, we can now go to the instep and outstep. Imagine you've got a bit of skis on, you're taking them to the edge, inside, outside the blades or the skis, and that gets us rotating a little bit further around. For three, and back. And two, and back, and one, and back, and bring those hands down. The extra ones there, because we've already got that. We're getting isometrics up into the shoulders at the same time. Just got to click weighing in. We've got Wolverhampton as well. We're going truly global. Montreal, Holland, and Wolverhampton. Hold the thumbs. Rotate the shoulders back, guys, two or three times. Forwards two or three times again. Breath in, hands up, out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart. All you've missed, Wayne, is, is a three second nine message push in and spinal mobilization, rotation. Drop the hands to the side, lean over left or right, any side you want to. Feel a stretch in the waist and don't go any further. Use it as a spinal mobilization. And we know all this stuff. I could just be quiet, couldn't I, for 40 minutes and you just know it. Bring it back up, lean over the other way. But I couldn't do that because you know how much I like talking. Don't know what about. Most of it's rubbish. Stop nodding your head. I will see everything. Bring it back up again, guys. Bring the hands to the thighs. 
One time only to get the spine nicely going. One bicycle chain only. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, sliding those hands down the front of the body, pushing them in gently, keeping the chin on that chest, coiling in down, protecting the lower back. Let the knees bend. Middle fingers in front of the toes. Push the knees to the rear. A bit of a cat stretch already. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, gently try and straighten those legs. Put the chin on the chest. Cat stretch. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, off we go. Oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? Breathe in. Exhale. Reset position. Slowly we'll push the hands into the body. That makes us uncoil. And we're calling it the bicycle chain because that's what we're imagining. Bring the hands and shoulders, bring the shoulders upwards to the rear, elbows to the rear a little bit. Let the chest come up 45 degrees. Pause and hold. Bring that pointy hand out to me, guys. There. Whites of the eyes. Don't look around the face, look straight into the eyes. To there and pull that shoulder around. So we're not rotating that body yet. We're getting a fantastic stretch. Already the shoulder joint opening that up, taking the scapula to the side. Breathe in, exhale, and pull it around again. Go all the way around. Let's click carry in. So we can rotate round. We get that feeling of being a dairy leaf cheese wedge right into the waist. Keep going, guys. Keep increasing it. Keep increasing it. The feet can go to the in steps or out steps. Two, one, and bringing it back around nice and slowly. Pointing the finger here, guys. Still the warmth, Kerry. So there, white to the eyes again. Here we go, pulling it around to the side. Holding it there. Don't let the abs go. 30%, nice soft knees. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Now look at that pointy finger. Pull the arm around and rotate that body. Then you're pulling all of the torso around. All oh, the spine's liking that one, isn't it? The two favorites so far has got to be the bicycle chain and this rotation of pulling the hand round for two and one, bringing that back around, rotate the shoulders. I remember Saturday morning stretch week, you do this a little bit more as well, getting all ready for everything. Palms the hands here, like a seal. When we breathe in, take them way to the rear, guys. Breathe in. Open the chest up. Normal breathing. And keep trying to push the hands to the rear. And feel them slowly going through. They will move down towards the ground slightly. That's okay. But your scapulas are slowly coming together. Still moving. Two. And one. Bring them back to the front. And then from the shoulders, push forwards. Keep the body still. Push forwards. Unwind that. Two. And one. And arc it down, guys. Good stuff. Bring the palms to here. And let's bring those knees up. And slowly take them towards the forearms. Now you have to get that feeling of leaning slightly backwards. You're actually at your correct height, the ears, shoulders, and hips. And as you lean slightly back, look at that, we can drive those knees up and actually get them in contact with our forearms. And there's minimal movement by everybody. You'd expect people to be dipping their arms down like this, but it doesn't happen. Good stuff. Three, two, one. Hands to the hips, and let's take it up and out. Big ball socket jugger. And I love you worm catchers, guys, but I'm still feeling really loose after what we did this morning in that area. That's feeling good. And now we're going over out to in. Out to in. There. And again, feeling nice and loose. But I tell you what, my hip flexors are feeling a little bit tired already. And the only workout I've done today was the worm catchers this morning. Three, two, and a one. I know it wasn't Sunday yesterday, so we have had a bath night. But one leg at a time. Let's do the sole of the foot check out. Good. Who's been down the allotment? Who, who's been outside? Good. And gently, leg raise. We call it a kick. We tend to kick up really high, okay? And we do that one when we're doing our nil quip. Um, what, there's some other Rocky or the other one that we do the karate thing. Here we go. Two and a one, changing it over. Other leg coming forward. Just driving that up. I'm just not arms just keep the balance so it's a leg raise so therefore it's the same speed up same speed back down there because your leg kick and you're not fully warmed up you could, you could overstretch and we don't want that to happen three and two and a one shake it all out guys good old shake out 
Okay, our first isometrics, we're gonna just do the big, the legs first, bring the insteps together, three positions, okay? And know what I'm saying is, on the toilet, so let's take that sitting position to here, and hold. And I'm watching the clock, 30 seconds. Pick a spot, pick somebody on the screen, whatever you're looking at, the whites of my eyes, and just close them out, and just focus, that's it and hold that there. Ankles working out, feeling those, those are joints working out, the ankles, knees, pelvic floor area, lower back, it's radiating upper spinal column, nicely holding. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly stand up guys, and a nice shake out. <clears throat> we'll try and keep it with about 10 seconds, all right? Here we go, feet are normal stance now. Ready? And down we go, there. So I'm coming down and up now, I can feel the stretch in my Achilles and the calves. Now the quads are working hard. We're working right around the glutes. So not only are we working our speedal system, which is what isometrics is all about, but for muscle toning, body sculpting, four of our favorite words, we get loads of that as well, but you massively, massively increase your strength. And that's because we're working the muscles and the ligaments and the tendons. But it's that bone density, the main thing we're doing these isometrics for, guys. Super strong bones. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back up. When we first did isometrics, we were doing 15 seconds with these legs. And we were all walking around with wobbly legs, weren't we? Now 30 seconds, all right? We're gonna come back to this one, but we're gonna have a break. A third one, however, before we do that. Semi-sumo. So, my feet are below my, my uh, what are they called? Elbows. Who's the medical person here? Here we go, guys. Sumo squat, take it down. So this is where you can take the knee joint past 90 degrees, because the position of the legs is nice and protected. Don't let legs come in nicely outwards as if we're going to do a hacker, right? Oh, okay, we should practice that one, shouldn't we? A double voice hacker. We have the monster faces. Good. Never holding the breath, remember. Nice symmetrics. Come across a lot of people, and they, not nobody here, but in classes or people being instructed in it, and there's a big tendency to hold the breath. Never holding the breath. I feel the difference. Three positions of the feet, that hip joint's working super hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Up we come. Oh, shake that out. Guys, I'm sorry, I've got to mention worm catchers again. My legs, I'm like, the, I'm like I need to sit down. So let's come to the chair. Here we go. There. Okay. So we are going to be doing less exercise this evening, carrying that theme that we spoke about last week. I think we're doing two weeks now, aren't we? Which means we're going to be more intense. Okay, first exercise, feet flat on the floor. My hands now are coming to the underneath of the chair because I can pull, right? What I want to do is, is get there and pull there, but keep the ears, shoulders, hips nicely aligned. Don't lean forward and pull. Nice sitting pose, good S shape in the spine, hands under the chair, ready? 10 seconds, go and pull. And 80%, not 100, 80% is good. There, look at that. That's working right down that spinal column, guys, loving it. Across top of the shoulders, that eight shape that we talk about. Two, one, release. Okay, good. So yeah, I've got a wooden frame here, and I've been doing it for a long time. Yes, it's gonna have come from the hands, but 10 seconds, that's okay for the pull. After your first time, remember 80 and good 100%. But in isometrics, 80% has been proven to be really good and you're getting a good result through your workout. Hands back again to here, underneath. Same thing. Go. There. And pull. The chair is starting to creak. I hope I don't pull bits off it and end up with mats. Remember the door handle last year? Good grief. Yes. And relax, guys. Good, that was my doing a band demonstration of those of you who don't, uh, 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 weren't at time. It's still on there, I think. And I put it onto a door, but it wasn't on a door handle, but it just so happened to caught the door handle and the door handle fell off. 
Last one, guys, underneath. Here we go. Feet flat on the floor. Good sitting posture. Pull. There. Good. Oh, that's good. Two. One. Relax. That's getting right across the diaphragm, working into the abs. So we start the work. The back is coming to the front, coming down the ribcage. It's abdominal time, guys. Both hands are coming to the top of my right knee to there. And we're going to try and raise that foot up off the floor, but we're going to hold it down at the same time. Ready? 10 seconds. Go. Raising up and pushing down. Sitting on a chair, getting a full body exercise. It's a Friday, guys. Are we getting that Friday crunchy feeling or what? Keep it going. Keep pushing upwards. Keep going. Two, one. Relax it down. I'm going to roll those shoulders around. I'm going to keep the breath, keep the oxygen going in. Body's burning lots of that. This, this work has you. It could us getting some big heavy weights and throwing them all around the room. Hand back to the right knee. Go. Raising up and pushing down at the same time. Full body this side. Keep pushing. Not holding the breath. Keep the breathing going. Two, one. And relax. Start the work around. The abs are getting in. Remember the toning working as well, but it's sucking and radiating from the spinal column through the abdominal side. Good for digestive system as well. All right, back to the other hand. Three times either side. Might do a few more seconds this time, actually. Ready? Go. Watching the clock. Let's do 15 seconds on this one. Extra five seconds is a lot. All right, keep working. So I've got the tremors going on now already. Fast twitch fibers are getting tired. That means the slow twitch fibers will have to work harder. More transfer of power through tens of ligaments. Two, one, relax it down. And as we do the first one and the second, third, feel how it increases and you feel the intensity increasing with each subsequent uh, set that we do in each subsequent exercise. Hands back to the thing, top of the knee. Ready? I'm sweating already. Go. There, raising up, pushing down. Yeah. Oh, there, good. Feel the abs working hard. Now, this is really good because working one side more than the other. So it's isolating the side and the lateral side of the abdominal area. So we're liking that. Two, one, and relax. Let's get a breath in, guys. I think we need to take those hands up and out. Turn the hands up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, elbows low, pause and hold, keep the thumbs above the sternum on the heart. Feel the beat of the heart. Don't stop pounding on your chest if you can't feel it, it just means you, can't, you are still alive, still with us. Last one, hands back down to that right knee, onto it. I like to lock my hands over it, one place on top of you is good enough. Go, and pushing down. Now it's a bit of a rotation in the body. By pushing down as well, feel it over you. I'm across this one, so the pec is working on the opposite side, the chest. So where the pecs are attached to the ribs. So the rib cage, upper rib cage, is being lifted upward, outwards at the same time. Our accessory breathing muscles in the back, feel those? They're being lifted up and out at the same time. Two and one, and relax it down. Rotating the shoulder and trying to stay nice and relaxed all the time. Relaxed athletes perform better, guys. Watch it at the Olympics. If it all takes place, hopefully it will. As long as everybody's safe, of course. Here we go. Push it down. Go and raise up. When you're tense, you burn more energy. And we don't want to be doing that. It takes into your reserves. And that includes everyday life. Excuse me, a banana. <laughs> and half a pint of milk before workout. Keep going, guys. Two, one. Relax it back down. Rotate those shoulders around. Let's get a breath in. Hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Good. I'm sweating like the owner of a pasty shop with no pasties. Good. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know where that come from. Okay, right. We're going to, from the abs there, we're going to be bearing down. Remember, we're hands like binoculars to here, the forearms to the knees, and we're pushing down, not bearing down, okay? Don't get it mixed up, we don't want any embarrassment. But pushing it down, leaning forward on the hips, feet flat on the floor, and the length of the arms, equal distribution on top of those thighs, ready? Go, there. And that gets the abs engaged straight away, doesn't it? Feel that? 
that's your six pack, that's your that's your washboards, all working, guys. We've all got one somewhere in there. Looking good. Now I'm getting the tremors big time. Those fast twitch fibers are getting really tired. Two, one, and relax. That is bringing in underneath here the rib cage. If you feel it into there, and the lats down the side of the chest. There is those excessive breathing muscles all being pulled outwards and working super hard. Rib cage is loving it, guys. Forearms back to the thighs. The binocular things. Ready? Clock on, go. There. So I'm adding a few seconds onto each of these. And all recently I've been really strict with 10 seconds and 30 seconds, and I've said 20 has been 20. Adding a few more on, raising that bar a little bit. What we all want you to be feeling the increment, the different increases each time we do the exercise. Two, one, and relax. Good. We'll take no shoulders back. Let's get a breath in before the last one. Take the hands up and out. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Good. Pause and hold for two. And one. Hands back down. Binoculars. Here we go. There onto the thighs. Equal body weight or equal distribution through the forearms onto the thighs. Ready? Go. And pushing down. And now I feel the maximum. The pecs, then the forearms. I've got the tremors going on. It's around the spinal column, the back, cross top of the back, into the shoulders. Keep it going, guys. Countdown coming up. Ready? Five, four. One, relax it back down again and gently shake that out. Okay, hold the thumb, take the hands up and then lean backwards over your chair, but look upwards. Let's open up the abdominal area. There we go, it's leaning back. Now in that position, 45 degrees to the side, don't fall off the chair. But if you do, I will put it on Facebook. Back up straight, guys, and over the other way. So there. Good. Back to normal. Inhale. Exhale. Push those arms up towards the ceiling. Good. All the way. And then bring them down a nice arc. Give everything a nice little shake out. Hands coming back under the chair, guys. Here we go. 100%. Okay. All right. He's whispering again. Hands on the knees. Good posture. Ready? Go. 100%. There. Monster faces as well. All right, <laughs> scary faces, that's what we want. Good, keep pulling, keep pulling. Two, one, and relax. Hopefully you can now feel that one going up into the base of the skull around the neck, all right? So getting everything fired up. So the muscles are tiring, they're recruiting the next door neighbors, but as they have to be recruited and worked, so their attachments work, so you get a bigger man energy going into our bones, if you like. Wiggle the fingers around. Only one more of those, okay? And also comfortable on some of the chairs. Hands underneath. Ready? Go. And there. Now, if any of you can't do it, I should have said at the beginning, shouldn't I? I haven't got hold of chairs. You can tuck your hands under your bum, the butt, the glutes, whatever you call it, and sort of pull from that direction there. Not as effective, but it does work. Good. Keep pulling again. Five, four, three, Two, one, and relax. Okay, all right. Hands up and out, turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, pause and hold, looking good. Gonna put those hands back on, lots of abs, okay? Here we go, back on to that leg. Pushing down and raising up, go. And that's getting the lower abdominal area, pelvic floor area, neck of femur, top of your femur, down through the femur, into the knee and up the, up the arms, forearms, wrist, shoulder, elbow, down the sternum, through the back, ribs, two, one, and relax. We're going straight over to the leg, guys, taking that bar higher, here we go. Onto there and go, raising up, and I'm pushing down. 100% we're going for here, guys. 200% if you want to call it that. I'm pushing down, raising up. I'm get, it's getting that fine balance, equal pressure coming up and going down. In a nice 
effect there. Now I'm sweating. Good. Two, one, and relax it down. That one is going up into the side here, rotating off top of the shoulders as well. So let's rotate those around. Hands up and out, it's another breath. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Bring the hands to lock, holding binoculars. Two of these, here we go, forearms to the knees. I've actually come up with my toes for this one. The reason being is I can get my, my legs nice and practice because I wasn't bought, I wasn't in the front of the queue for legs, all right? Wayne and Bill were in the men's queue at the front. I was, I was put to the way at the back. I was being cheeky, so I got the short legs. Here we go, ready? Forearms bearing down, or pushing down now. There. Abs engaged. And I've got the tremors straight away, guys. Now, when I started there, I was putting too much on the wrist, so I've pushed the elbows down, and that gets nice, equal with distribution. I can feel the ribs being pulled out at the same time. Got a lot of shakes going on. Fast twitch fibers are getting really tired. Two. One, and relax, and just hold that there. Come to a nice sitting position, hands onto the thighs. Just hold that position there, without moving the hands. Big deep breath in, go. Blow out hard. Good. Now step forward and wipe down your camera, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one of these, binoculars, forearms to the thighs. Bearing down or pushing side down, go there. That's better. So this time I've got better equal distribution pushing down, didn't go straight to the wrists. And I can feel that from rotator cuff, ribs working hard, upper part of the abdomens, abdomens, abdominals working hard. Keep pushing, guys. Keep going. Don't hold the breath. Count down five, four, three, two. One, and relax. Oh, I can feel that right up here, guys, down and through. Take the hands, palms facing me, and just gently move them to the rear. Open up the chest. Look up 45 degrees as if the sun is out on our little faces. Two, and one. We're going to stay in the chair. We're being spoilt this evening. Here we go. It's a three second, oh, ten second, three times. That's meant to push in, guys. So it's there. Palms nice and flat. Ready? Watching the clock go in, there. I've gone straight for 100%, we're nice and warm. And if you've got me on a big, look at those fingers. I'm not putting that on guys, and I haven't got Parkinson's. That is the power pushing in, that's the shakes going on, two, one, and relax it down, shake them out. Now shake those wrists out, massage the back into there, and wiggle the fingers around, okay? Get that return of circulation, go on and keep that going. All right, we're gonna go for the pull apart this time. So hook the fingers. If you've got long nails, then that's your fault. Here we go, there. Take it out to here, pull apart, go, there. And that is, that's 100%. Oh, that's a big exercise, and I like this one. This is the one you wanna do before you go to the beach with your T-shirt on, okay? Pull apart, and the other one, push it in and pull apart, two, one, and go. We're doing about 15 seconds with these guys. So you're going to feel it up in the shoulders a little bit more. Each second is like more energy, more power. Taking the bar up. Hand push in. Go. Same position. Raising the elbows up. Nice and parallel. Go. In there. That's 100%. Big exercise. Joints, forearms, flexors, extensors. Triceps, biceps, pecs working hard across the back, across the top of the scaps. They're loving this one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Shake those wrists out again, guys. Massage the back of the wrist. Any muscle strength and endurance can always get to this one. Don't wiggle the fingers around. Keeps them relaxed. Good. Pull apart. Ready? Good. Go. So because we're sitting down, we are totally isolated. So when we stand up and do this, we do get a transfer down to the lower parts of the body. It's not happening with this when we sat down. So all that energy is staying hips upwards and not going down to the legs. I bet you relaxed a bit there listening to you and you pull apart. Here we go, increase it. Increase, increase, two, one, relax it down. Oh, shoulders working hard. 
Good. One more each of those. Hands back to there for the push in. Same position all the time. Here we go. In. Yes. And that's, that's joint stability, that is, guys. You've got the shakes because that energy is trying to go somewhere and it's got nowhere to go. You're just playing with your own body weight and pushing in. And so the tremors will get a bit worse and a bit worse, but the, believe me, it does work. We know it works too. One, relax it down. And I felt that one there, so I'm going to go up into the base of the skull, okay? So if you felt that, just move the head around, just chill that out. Keep everything nice and relaxed. Any way you want to. It's the pull apart, ready? Hook the hands over and go. There. Everybody working together. It looks like a video. And I'm increasing. I'm trying to pull it even harder, guys. I thought I was doing 100% before. I obviously wasn't. I am now. Got the tremors going on. Count down three, two, increase one, and relax it down. And that's coming down the chest into the rib cage. Let's get a breath, hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, good. And arc them down. We're gonna work the bones of our fingers, okay? All right, like a spider doing press-ups on a, a mirror. That's the position there, fingertips out to the front. Switch off the rest of the body. We're pushing in with those fingers. This is 10 seconds, only three times, guys. Ready? Go. But look what happens. We get a transfer up the body into the chest and the sides of the rib cage opens up. Another good one. Terry Lee cheese wedge time. Keep pushing two. One. Relax that back down. Shake the hands out again, wiggle those fingers around. So energy transfer from the fingertip, up the body, down the shoulder. That H shape that we talk about with the body turned on its side, we're working super hard. Here we go, back in again. 15 seconds with this one, ready? Go, pushing in, good. So a totally different isometric session this evening. First one, lots of stuff in the chair, isolating everything down, two, one, Relax that back down. This is the last one in the chair, by the way. We'll take the shoulders back. Good. Hands back up. Putting the fingertips together. Go. 15 seconds. Do one 10, two 15s. And where I thought it was 100%, I'm now pushing even harder. Now I can feel my ribs in the back actually starting to ache a little bit. Keep pushing. Good. I see accessory muscle attachments working super hard too. One, relax. When you cough or sneeze, you've got a bad cough, that's when those fire up in the back, guys, and got like a thump into the back. That's what the body does there. Okay, let's get rid of the chair. Just work on attachments. That's to one side. That's there. Let me check my clock. Good stuff. I told you we'd revisit, and you're thinking, he's, he's forgot. Bring the insects together, guys. We're ready. Our little saying on the toilet, take it down and hold. There. Good. The one and only Saturday stretch tomorrow. You'll need a cushion, guys. There's a certain stretch we're going to do. Don't get lulled into false sense of security thinking, I've got a mat, I don't need a cushion. You will need a cushion tomorrow for the knee, okay? Count down two, one. Slowly coming back up again, shaking it all out. Good stuff. Bring the feet out to normal, hip width apart. Down we go and hold that position there. I really, I know we say this a lot, I really do not know where time goes. Let's hold that position. Hip flexors working hard. Now we're getting that feeling where we've done a fantastic workout. You can feel it from the shoulders down the spine, the ribs, the hips, right down the legs. Two. One, up we come, shaking it out, but look how super stable we are. The last one, semi-sumo, level with my elbows. Dipping it down, here we go, nice and deep. Take the bum, the butt, the glutes, I'm gonna call it nice and deep down. Focus on, now don't let the body weight come to the insteps. Keep the feet nice and flat. Don't let the knees come inwards. We've got this posture now. Somebody came in the room there and gave us a good kick. 
They'd hurt their foot. We wouldn't even know that they'd come into the room. Good. I've got sound effects, like in that one. Three, two, one. Slowly coming back up, guys, and shaking it out. I'm going to press the old little magic button here. The ne next thing is, and most importantly, is for you all to have a fantastic Friday get the crunchy feeling, all right? Bring the hands to here. Okay, send a big wave over the channel. Holland is quite flat. We want to get Sheila wet. Go, clap, yes, well done. Hey, stuff, guys, fantastic. First one of them, have a great night. See you tomorrow on Sunday, Saturday, one and all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey. Bye. Bye, everyone. Cup of tea time. Bye, Bill. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Tugs. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you in the morning, mate.